The history of the sandwich is a lie. I was at my local Jimmy John's the other day ordering a Jimmy Cubano, goaded sandwich by the way, and for some reason, the tale, the history, the origin story of how the sandwich came to be popped into my mind. So as I sit in line at Jimmy John's waiting for my Jimmy Cubano, I tried to recount how the tale went. It was something like Earl of Sandwich or Sandwich Earl. Anyway, he was a big chess player, a big card games player, uh, and he loved eating while playing, but he was too busy. So instead of, you know, trying to eat something with a fork and knife, he decided I'm going to put a piece of meat in between two slices of bread and guess what he called it. The sandwich. Get it? Because his name is literally sandwich. Kinda epic. So after I finished absolutely gorging myself on a Jimmy Cubano, I began to do some real research. Side note, I don't know if y'all have ever eaten at Jimmy John's before, but like, does your sandwich stay together? Because literally every time I've gone there, I've taken three bites and like, it just things fall out the back. It's, it's a mess. I mean, good sandwiches, but like, they do not stay together. So yeah, I was actually pretty close to how the original story went. There was this dude named the Earl of Sandwich, and people actually called him Lord Sandwich. Crazy. Also, there's literally a place in England called Sandwich. I'm from Sandwich, bro, innit? I love being from Sandwich. Jesus. Lord Sandwich loved gambling, he loved playing cards, but he was such a high roller that he physically could not eat oh and play God. cards at the same time. I say get good. But instead, he asked his servant to bring him a piece of salt beef between two pieces of bread, and voila, you've got the sandwich. What is salt beef? Ugh. Personally, I feel like it would honestly be harder to eat a sandwich and play cards, because, like, you've got to use both your hands to look at the cards and place them down. I, I don't understand how that really fixed anything. Plus, now he's dripping salt beef juice onto the table and cards. I, I don't get it. But I'm going to have to disagree that Lord Sandwich was the inventor of the sandwich. I mean, in the thousands and thousands of years that humans have existed, you mean to tell me that not one person thought to put a piece of meat or cheese between two slices of bread? I just don't buy it. I, I don't buy it at all. So, as is a common theme here, I did some research, and let me tell you what, I was right. Lord Sandwich did not invent the sandwich. Now look, some interpolation is going to be required here. It beckons the age-old question of, is a hot dog a sandwich? According to the Oxford Dictionary, if that hot dog bun separates into two different pieces, then yeah, it's a Sammy. However, I wanted to do my due diligence and check out another resource, Urban Dictionary. To be honest, that didn't really get me anywhere. So if we deconstruct the notion of a sandwich being a piece of meat or cheese between two classic slices of white bread, the history of the sandwich gets real muddy. First on our list, quesadillas. A quesadilla is two pieces of bread. I mean, tortilla, carb, bread, carb, I think it counts. Two pieces of bread with stuff in the middle, come on, it's a sandwich. Anyway, these guys got their start in colonial Mexico around the 1500s, literally like 200, 300 years before Lord Sandwich got his bright idea. While this cheesy goodness is kind of shrouded in mystery, I mean, we don't have exact dates proving that it was before Lord, uh, whatever his name was, Sandwich. <laughs> I don't know. These next few examples do. History.com quotes Hillel the Elder, who was born in the first century BC, as one of the world's first sandwich makers. However, we know how accurate History Channel can be. Visitors essentially mated with Earth women. So Hillel, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, he was a rabbi who was born in Babylon and later moved to Jerusalem. He's featured in the Haggadah, also hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, which is a text that's read during the Jewish Passover. The Halal sandwich is made using paschal lamb, a bunch of herbs and spices, and unleavened matzah bread. So yes, we have real textual evidence that humans were eating sandwiches long before the Earl of Sandwich decided to get lazy with his gambling habits. I'm not even gonna front, I'm not the biggest fan of lamb, but this sandwich actually looks pretty good and I'd be down to try it. Okay, so the first century BC, that's pretty old, right? That's gotta be the first sandwich ever? Wrong. Though there aren't really many concrete dates to back this up, it actually turns out that the ancient Romans ate sandwiches too. Essentially, the Romans would take the leftovers from the night before, you know, meat, cheese, veggies, whatever, slap it onto something called panus quadratus, which literally translates to square bread, and boom, they had a little lunchtime submarine sandwich. I don't really know if it's true, but these old, basic HTML college research websites are an absolute pillar and beacon for niche researchers like me. I don't know why, but they always have the answers I need, and they've got citations too, so they have to be correct, right? But the history of the sandwich does not begin with the Romans. 
We're headed to China, baby. And so we land on, from what I found, the earliest example of the modern sandwich. The 肉夹馍，肉夹馍，肉夹馍，肉夹馍。To anyone on earth listening to me about to pronounce this, I apologize. The 肉夹馍 So it turns out that the Ryu Jia Mo, I'm so sorry, it's essentially an ancient hamburger dating to around 200 BC. This little guy was and still is a popular street food in China. And for all you picky eaters, this one is an absolute hit. It's literally meat and pork, and that's it. I can't judge though, because when I was young, Parker, my diet was garbage. I ate cheeseburgers, but literally just the cheese, meat, and bread. Mac and cheese and chicken nuggets. No sauce either. But yeah, this is essentially the first recorded sandwich ever in history. While I'm sure other societies and cultures had sandwiches long before the Chinese, this was actually the first recorded instance of someone making a sandwich. I think it's so cool that ancient food like that still exists today. I mean, the Chinese still eat it, but like us Americans, we have hamburgers, pulled pork sandwiches, basically the same thing. I just think it's so cool that literally nothing new has ever been invented. It's It's cool. Okay, so what did we learn today? That the history of the sandwich is a lie. Now you're getting it. I mean, true. The Earl of Sandwich, the Lord Sandwich, his righteousness, whatever you want to call him. Sure, he did give the name sandwich to two pieces of bread and stuff between it, but he absolutely did not invent that. Not to get too conceptual or serious for this video because this is not a serious video in the slightest. But it's really reminiscent of you know Eurocentric, Western-centric ideas and histories taking precedence over other cultures and other regions' histories and ideas. Because I mean, these other people and other cultures had sandwiches long before it. But like I and probably many other people were led to believe that no, the sandwich started in England, which I know is stupid saying it now because no shit it didn't. But like. Yeah. That, anyway, it's important to always be curious and question things around you. I mean, learning is so much fun. Plus, it makes you an all-star at trivia. Like, learning is so cool, dude. I don't. I, I love learning. But I hope you all really enjoyed that video. And if you did, go ahead and subscribe because there'll be more content like that in the future. And if you really liked it, why not? Why not hit the like button? That would also be pretty. Sweet and epic as well. But yeah, it's been a while since I've made a video. I think like literally over a year. But a man has been busy. Okay, I've been I've been busy. Not an excuse, but kind of an excuse. Got into grad school, which is really cool.、Uh, epic higher education moment. I can avoid having real jobs and real responsibilities for another two years. Which go me. Fun. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the video.、Uh, again, I hope you all liked it. I always have fun making videos. Uh, and hopefully the next video won't be in another year. Hopefully I'll see y'all in a few weeks. So with that, I'm gonna say goodbye. Goodbye.